Hi, this is Samir, and this is a tutorial for simple particles, actually. Well, I occasionally get emails about how the simple particles emitter works and how to accomplish collisions and spawning effects. So I thought, okay, let's make a tutorial out of that. And, okay, so you can see I have a setup here with an observatory model, and uh, there's a the camera, which is rotating around uh, the orbitary, quite simple, but uh, it should show pretty well how this all works. And I have a disk object attached as a child to the camera object, so it's moving along with it, and it is aligned to the viewing angle of the camera. And the idea is to create gunfire. Um, like in a first-person shooter um, out of this, so the person would go around the, of course a little too fast, around the ovatory and shoot at the surface of the ovatory. Um, but okay, so I select the disk object because this should be the source of my simple particles. And I create a simple particles emitter. I would also, I could also do this uh, by going to the plants and effects menu, choosing the simple particles object. And as the disk object was previously selected, the simple particles object automatically links it as a source object here in the object field. And about now, pleasant animation, the um, particles are directly emitted. But of course, for gunfire, it's much too slow, so let's just increase the initial velocity here. 50 might be good. Oh, wrong direction. Swoop, yeah, that's a much better speed. Well, actually, it's pretty good already, so I just keep it at 50. I maybe add some variation here to the velocity. Um, yeah, and actually, that's all I need, right? It's just gonna fire. I could then attach an object to the particles for whatever reason, maybe lights or something, to simulate the gunfire bullets um, or laser or whatever you want to create out of it. And yeah, and that's not much more I could do. Lifetime is actually uh, not important here because once they collide with the surface, I want to let them die anyway. And the birth rate 50 per second is all right. It's pretty good. I could add some variation here too so it's not that continuous although a gunfire is pretty continuous but to add a human component because holding the trigger is uh, maybe worth 12% of variation all right uh, but that's it and the next thing I need is actually collision with the surface of the auditory so I select the body object here right click go into the tax menu of the plants and effects and choose the collision tag well that's it actually if I now play simulation you can see they directly collide with the surface okay um, next thing is I want them to be dying off when they collide so I activate kill and collision and I'll show you how this is oh, like this and they die off immediately once they hit the surface so I accomplished that next thing is the spawning so I activate in the collision tag the use spawning field pretty simple isn't it but that's what simple particles are about um, okay so Swoop, and we get the spawning here, right? So that's actually all we need. Uh, I can now play with these scattering and spawning features here. Uh, for example, a lower scattering angle. Adding some variation here, maybe more, maybe 80%. So like this, this is more random now. Uh, I don't like the response speed, so I change the velocity scale 
Uh, if I set it to 100%, they will reflect approximately with the same uh, speed. Uh, and they have hit the surface before. So I lowered this because I don't want them to extend that much from the surface. Right? It's like, no, it's much better now. Uh, like fracturing or for a smoke setup. Right? Okay. Um, I could, of course, also increase here the count for the rendering and for the editor. Like that. Boom. So we get a much denser uh, spawning effect there. And just to show you a little more what the scattering angle does here, we get a lower scatter cone, right? Uh, but I keep it at 80. I want it pretty much to dissolve. Um, but okay, uh, what I could, uh, but okay, what I could now, of course, uh, do is attach uh, my bullets to the gunfire particles. But we have a problem now, of course, because the spawning particles are the same particle types as the gunfire types, uh, gunfire particles. So they would also just be reflected as uh, bullets because the geometry that we are using to attach to the particles would be also used on these particles. So actually we need a second emitter who would uh, take the simple particle spawning particles, right? And it's really as easy as that. I just create another simple particles emitter and I rename it spawn particles for example like that and I just make sure that I put it beneath the normal emitter uh, just has updating uh, uh, reasons so just always the spawn particles below the emitter and then I go into the collision tag and here I have a field called spawning emitter and I can now drag this in here again go into the spawn particles emitter and I now change the emission source type right because uh, by default it is emitting from polygon surface um, and I set it to spawn so it can now take the spawn particles actually. And uh, let's just change the color so we can better see the small particles. Let's say bright blue is fine. So now play simulation. You can see that now we have actually two groups of particles. So we can separately handle them and handle collisions and even more. Right? Isn't it just not just uh, the geometry that we are attaching to these simple particles? Actually, we can now also define different dynamics, age effects, and also cache them separately. So, um, for example, when I now look at the spawning here, and they're all emitting radio uh, spherically, and well, they don't seem to have any mass, so I could not increase here the mass, say 30. Oh, my. Make this longer. And now we get a much different um, a gravity, for example. They're um, reacting to gravity much more because their mass is higher now, of course just simple physical rule and um, I could also add some damping here right would be good for a smoke setup maybe not so much and I could now tweak also the um, the damping by going to the collision tag increase the velocity scale so how they respondively uh, have uh, speed like this and if I now go back and uh, increase the damping I could let them uh, be damped at a much later point in time so uh, it's just a nice uh, tip here right so it could create pretty cool effects 
and um, I'll lower this again go again in here lower the velocity scale which I could of course also uh, add some variation which is probably a good idea so we have uh, different uh, uh, evolving speeds for these small particles and add some variation there too and we could of course also let them live longer if necessary uh, also here we can add variations and also to the editor count um, yeah so you can see that it's all pretty straightforward very simple to create spawning effects here uh, with a simple particles emitter and also how to easily create spawning groups and uh, therefore uh, receive more flexibility flexibility uh, on uh, how they actually uh, interact we could of course also now create your inter interparticle collisions in the spawn emitter so we get uh, maybe more crazy particles going here around coming out of there because they're colliding with other spawning particles so this is quite nice and if I now go into my camera you can see bam, 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 bam. how this would look like in the first person shooter type of view